Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I'm here to share a bunch of sympathy cards today. Hey, so I'm using Jada Blossom's Wishing You Comfort along with the Flower Cluster stamp set and I'm using Honeybee's Team Tie Dye 6 inch pad. So I chose these three beautiful patterns and I'm just going to trim them down into two inch strips using my Fiskars trimmer. Now this um, card was inspired by a Sherry Gilson design that I saw on Instagram. So she came up with this, this design. I'm using different, supp different supplies, but I loved the way she did it. And I thought th these would be perfect for some sympathy cards. So check out her Instagram, Sherry Gilson. Okay, so I'm just trimming all of these papers down into two inch strips. And I've got some Paper Train craft cardstock cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half inches. And I'm just using my Misty. And I'm going to stamp this flower cluster stamp set on the front of this card with some VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And like I said before, this is this was inspired by Sherry Gilson on Instagram. I'm not sure if she used pattern paper or if she used ink blending for the stripe, but nevertheless, that's what inspired this card for me. And now I'm going to line up my sentiment in the lower right-hand corner. There we go. So I'm just sort of lining everything up. And what's neat is, is if you're doing this card, it makes it really easy to do mass production, right? Because you could just keep putting a card base in there and keep stamping away. So that's what I did. So there we are. And I'm just applying the ink to this image. And I do have to stamp it a couple of times just because it is a large image. There we go. I always say that a lot, but there we go. But, you know, there it is. And I'm going to, you know, apply the ink twice. I want a really nice, crisp image as I don't really have a lot going on on this card. So you want your images and your sentiment to be nice and sharp. So I'm just applying pressure to the whole thing. And... There you have that. So that is what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to be putting this strip of cardstock down and I'll be stamping on that. So very simple. And then you can imagine that I'll apply that strip of card, that strip of pattern paper to my card front with some ATG tape and I will line up the image. Now on the inside, I'm going to stamp, or actually I'm just going to show you me doing another one here. So just very easy, simple card design, like I said. So, you know, you just wanna stamp it a few times, get it nice and sharp. So I've said this before, but I find that, you know, making um, sympathy cards is one that I like to do in mass production style, um, just because when you need one, you're sad and you don't want to be making one at that point. I kind of like to have them on hand and um, ready to send out. And that way I don't have to, you know, make something when I'm not feeling it is basically the reason. So now I'm stamping on a two inch slice of that paper from Honey Bee, Team Tie Dye, six inch pad. It has some beautiful um, backgrounds that are perfect basically for this card design. And like I said, I think Sherry Gilson's might've been an ink blended strip. That's, that would also be really pretty, you know, ink blend on your card first and then stamp over top of it. You know, you could use some um, washi tape to you know, tape off the areas or painter's tape, whatever you want to do. And, um, you know, have a strip of ink blending and then stamp your floral image over top of it. That would work as well, <clears throat> as well. Okay, so now I am just quickly folding my card bases and then you'll see me apply the two inch strips. So 
I kind of do things kind of in, in this order, you know? So now I'm going to apply, isn't the backside of that paper gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. Okay, so I'm going to try and line up that stamped image as well as I can. And then I will trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. So just so pretty. And I'm going to, you know, keep doing that. I just love this paper pad from Honeybee. It's just beautiful. The backgrounds are just so gorgeous and work really well with this kind of card. I tried to, you know, choose some more muted tones. They have some more tie-dye looking images with bright, bright colors, but I tried to, you know, tone it back a little bit just because these are sympathy cards. I don't, personally, I don't want to have like neon pink sympathy cards, but you know, somebody might like that. There we go. And now I'm going to trim off the overhang with a pair of scissors. So these, you could also make these as thank you cards, as birthday cards, you know, whatever you'd like, congratulations, you know, any of those things. Now I'm going to take my We Are Memories Corner Chomper. Um, we Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper, and I'm using the half inch, and I'm going to chomp um, the lower left and the upper right of each card base, just to give it, you know, a unique look. And now I'm going to pop that card back in my, you know, stamping tool. This one isn't a Misty. I've got a secondary one. And I'm going to line up a sentiment on the inside of each card. And I'm going to stamp with that same black ink, that VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. And I'm going to stamp the same sentiment on the inside of every single card. It's just a way to you know, get these cards made quickly. Now I'm going to add a strip of paper from that same Honeybee Team Dye Dye pad, Tie Dye um, pad, six inch pad, just a one inch strip with some ATG tape. There we go, and I will trim off the overhang. And this inside sentiment says, wishing you comfort, which of course is what you wanna to say to someone, right? That's what you send off. So that's what it looks like. So now I am taking Nouveau Crystal Drops in Ivory Seashell, and I'm going to add them to all those little round dots that are in the image itself. For, you know, perfect placement of some embellishments, but, you know, no thinking, right? Now, obviously, you're going to want to put this aside to let it dry, but I just think it's very pretty. Now I pulled out Jada Blossom's Spring Dyes 2 and I cut out all of the butterflies with this paper. It's called Star Dream Metallic in Onyx. And I'm using um, some art glitter glue. And I'm going to stick down these little butterflies on my backgrounds just for a little something something. I just think it adds something. I'm using a bamboo skewer just to hold the center down to make sure they glue well. And I just think it looked really pretty. I think it added to it. Now you could choose to make these butterflies whatever color you like. I kind of wanted to echo the black that's already, you know, kind of a theme on these cards with the black outline and the black sentiment. I didn't want to bring in another color. You could have easily made these craft colored, but I kind of like the shine of this black onyx uh, cardstock star dream metallic I think it I think I got it from um, cut cutcardstock.com is where I got this paper I used to be on their, their design team it's a beautiful cardstock nice and shiny so I'm just adding these down and like I said like a really simple design and it was springboarded by Sherry Gilson so check out her Instagram very pretty. She designs for a bunch of design teams. I think Gina K is one of them. She's she's a really be makes beautiful things. So there you go. And then I'm just going to add these last ones. I kind of dab off the glue because I don't want any glue oozing out all over the place. But isn't that pretty? 
And I'm going to add these little tiny ones to this one. It was kind of nice because there's a lot of butterflies, so I just ran them through all at once and I only had to do a few passes to get enough to put on each card. And since I have two left, I'm going to put two on this one. I love this flower cluster stamp set from Jada Blossom. I just think it's so pretty. And I th they recently came out with one, I think it's called Shamrock Cluster, like something for um, St. Patrick's Day. It, it's also beautiful. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. And don't forget Sherry Gelson. Um, great designer on Instagram, check her out. So that is all. And hopefully you will stop by and watch another one of my videos. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.